What is going on, everybody? Who am I? What am I doing here? What are you doing here, for that matter? I am the original gamer, Stevie Stro. How are you? And what are we looking at here today? Well, we are looking at a pretty cool game here. This game is called Raptor Call of the Shadows. And this was a game that was released in the PC in the 90s. And, um, you know, it is a originally an MS-DOS based version of an arcade shooter. And, um, and we're going to see how we do here. I'm going to put in my initials. I'm going to choose a uh, rookie and then supply room fly mission. Let's just jump out here. Bravo sector. No idea what's going on here. Who cares? Let's just do this. Okay. So look at this. This is cool. So this is basically, this was done in DOS and, um, you know, on a, on a normal PC that did not have any type of special gaming hardware. So we did not have sprites. We didn't have anything like that, so this was all done in software to um, kind of simulate what an arcade system or a good game console system would look like. And I gotta say, the graphics look really good. The background music is good, the digital sound effects are good. This took advantage of the Sound Blaster card. Sound Blaster card gave us um, synthesized music and digital sound effects. And so having background music was a nice thing for PC games. We didn't start off having that. That came many years later. We had to go about a decade with crappy PC sounding speakers before we got into digital uh, sounds and synthesized music and stuff. So this game was pretty popular. This game was released by Apogee, I believe. And um, it was very common for publishers at the time to give you what was called like a public domain version of the game or a shareware version of the game where you could basically um, play like a trial level for free and then they tried to upsell you on the game. And so this is the full version of the game. This is another one that I got from GOG.com and this is the 2010 version. So, um, the, you know, the 20 years later or whenever, they re-released an updated version of this game. Again, it's taken advantage of somewhat more widescreen graphics and everything. And, um, you know, but it's, it's still the same game that we had in the good old days of DOS. And this was a good one. This was a game where, you know, there was a time even up to the 90s where it was kind of a, uh, a question mark what system was better for gaming. PC had not fully arrived to be able to produce every type of game playable. It was still in the 90s where your consoles could, could yield better gaming, especially like the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. They were able to do things that the PC could not do um, natively. It did, the PC didn't have any type of special hardware to do scrolling or sprites, which is your foreground and background, things like that. So. Um, People had to do it in software, just just like the people who did stuff for the color computer. They had to learn how to do things in the assembly language of the computer and really push the system to do things it wasn't designed to do to make it look and, and play as good as um, either an arcade system or even a Super Nintendo. It would have taken a thousand dollar PC to be able to produce um, a game that played as good as a two hundred dollar Super Nintendo would have because you just needed a lot of extra horsepower to do things. Looks like I'm getting um, dollar sign pickups here, money pickups. Um, I know one of the buttons allows you to change weapons. And I don't remember which one that was. Looks like I'm shooting and missling now. This is a big sucker here. But I mean, I love the colors. I love the scenery. This is kind of like a Z. It's like a cross between Zevius. Oh, I just got the heck blown out of me. Well, look at this, <laughs> going down, going down in flames. <laughs> the music was actually MIDI music, which is pretty cool. So, um, I'm burning. Crashed and burned, baby. <laughs> so I guess at this point I've got no choice but to play a new mission here. So let's try this one more time and I'm gonna do a different sector. So, um, We're gonna do Rookie. I'm gonna play this a little bit easier. I'm gonna fly a mission. That was Bravo. Let's do Outer Regions. Let's see what the Outer Regions have in store for us. Ooh, look at this. This looks cool. This 
things are hard to hit. Okay, my second button's not doing anything for me right now. I'm trying to figure out what my health bar is. Okay, I just figured it out. My health bar is that bar on the right. The one that's going down, it's about half full right now to be optimistic about it. Um, A lot of crap going on on the screen here. I have not gotten any type of power-ups or pickups. But they did an amazing job with the VGA graphics. VGA would have given us 256 colors on screen. Um, having a uh, sound blaster, good. I'm already gone. I'm already gone. There we go. Look at that. Having a good sound blaster card could have given you either synthesized music or in this case here like MIDI music, which was like a real um, professional music, keyboard sounding music. I can't uh, skip past this embarrassing death screen here. But yeah, it's a cool game. It's a difficult game. That was, um, that, and you have different characters you can choose from. So you can be that dude, you can be a couple different chicks, whatever, I'll be that guy there, right? So, and I'm gonna choose Rookie. And I'm gonna say Fly Mission. And let's try the Tango Sector. Let's look at one more map here. Oh, look at this. I like this. Good use of color. Good use of shadow. Um, sparkling effects in the water. This game was an impressive game. You know, there was, there was a time when it was really hard to tell where you should spend your money. If you wanted just to play games, you could have got games for less money by buying a console. Obviously, a PC could do more than games, but it took an expensive PC to, to uh, kind of match what a Genesis console or Super Nintendo console could do. Here we go. Here's a... Let's crack the egg. Okay. Now I've got some extra shots. Shot power-ups are definitely a good thing to have. And this is another cool thing from GOG.com. I love GOG. Um, I always forget what GOG stands for. I don't know if it's Galaxy of Games or if it's good old games. Okay, my shields are gone, which means I'm going to die very soon. Dodge. How about give me some more shield opportunities here? Now that I have no shield, I'm obviously playing a little bit more carefully. But to, uh, alas, to no avail. I have died. And I have died my last death. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, it's a fun game. It's a cool game. It's pretty challenging. I'm going to have to wrap my brain around and do a little bit of practicing. But, um... This was a PC version of a classic arcade style top-down shooter and they were able to actually let me just press F1 for the demo F1 for help okay I thought it said F1 for demo it is D for demo so while I'm uh, signing off here we'll let the demo play but yeah so this was basically getting the PC to do what uh, the arcades gave us so many versions of these top-down shooters but yeah it definitely reminds me of kind of a cross between like Xevious and uh, some other more high-paced faster like Xevious and like a 1942 kind of cross you know it's got some elements of like time fighter some of the more alien tech you're going up against um, I know you're supposed to be able to bomb somehow too I couldn't quite figure that part out um, but just cool, cool game. Cool looking game. I love the colors. I love the shadows. I love some of the animation effects, like the water appears to be sparkling. Um, the explosions uh, kind of, you know, cycle their colors. A lot of stuff going on. Um, it was a good time. The 90s were really starting to show us that the PC was a formidable platform for gaming. And, um, you know, from you know 2000 and beyond, uh, it's kind of hard to say that which system is better um, because the modern PC is on par with all the modern consoles and you, one could argue that 
the PC is better, but then you get to how much are you going to spend on that, you know? A gaming PC can cost you a lot of money where you can get an Xbox or PlayStation 4 for 300 bucks. So, um, anyways, I'm babbling long enough. I have showed you Raptor Call of Shadows. This is the 2010 edition where it was kind of uh, just brought to the PC, uh, given a little bit of a maybe more widescreen look. Um, but still the same fun, cool game. I hope you enjoyed this preview. I have been the original Gamers TV Show. And if you did enjoy this video, then why not give it a like, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got something you'd like to say, throw out a comment, let me hear it. I'd also appreciate it if you could share this video and share my channel with your friends to help me grow the audience. I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you. Keep on gaming. Peace out and long live the Coco.